Well, you know, I remember when they first started talking about the rash, they're talking about possibly getting rid of the arena. And a lot of the actual veterans were really upset about that because they thought that that would be lost in the heritage. And it's, it's almost a shame, and I understand the economics of it going down, but I think the one thing that sort of still saves it is the monument out front. When they built that, I think everybody decided, okay, if the arena has to go because it's pretty old, well, at least we've got this fantastic monument out in front of it. So I think that's going to carry on the legacy. That was former WFRV sports anchor, a good friend of ours, Aaron, right? Yeah. John Mino, the voice of the Green Bay men's basketball program for more than a decade. And he has been a big supporter of veterans in our area for a very long time. And local 5 Sports Director Burke Griffin takes a look back at the Brown County Veterans Memorial Arena from a sports perspective over the years. At a time when the new city stadium was replacing the old city stadium before it became Lambeau Field, the Brown County Veterans Memorial Arena was constructed just across the street. It's been around for 60 years now, and the official name has always, always been the Brown County Veterans Memorial Arena. And technically, the whole complex, which includes the Rest Center and Shopko Hall, is the Veterans Memorial Complex. So uh, veterans are a big deal around here and uh, we pay homage to them whenever we can everywhere you go on this complex there's a big memorial right behind me uh, there's another memorial over there on the yard um, so it's it's veterans everything and once the arena was built it quickly became the biggest and most attractive indoor venue north of Milwaukee when the arena was built I mean it was the cat's meow back in the day so it had that name uh, again, to pay tribute to those who sacrificed a lot or sacrificed everything um, for our country. So it's uh, pretty much a, a living museum as we stand here today um, for all veterans. Elvis Presley was at the arena and it was one of the uh, last few concerts that he had before he passed away. Oh, Elvis, I mean, all these people, Johnny Cash, I mean, just go on and on and on. It's really amazing what took place in the walls of that venerable old place. I'm, oh, personally, I'm going to miss it. I think it's pretty cool. From championships on the ice to monster trucks and the Harlem Globetrotters in just about every other sport you can think of, Brown County Veterans Memorial Arena truly became the home of Green Bay basketball when the program made history. The Brown County Veterans Memorial Arena became the Dick Dome, let's face it. You know, I mean, the place was packed with uh, uh, perhaps more capacity than anyone thought back in the day. Uh, People standing room only, to say the least. <laughs> exactly. So, I mean, the place was hopping then. I mean, that was the place to be. A Phoenix game on those nights when, you know, Dick Bennett was coach and Tony Bennett was playing. I mean, everybody who was somebody was at those games. I mean, I remember when their highlights would be on Sports Center when they were ranked. And that was a pretty cool thing from the Brown County Arena. And they were ranked. And they'd put about 6,000 people in that every night. That was as electric of a setting as I've ever been in in sports and, and I really mean that that crowd was so right on top of the opposing teams and it was so loud in there and you couldn't buy a seat it was incredible trying to get in there those were magical nights the peak in the rise of the Phoenix men's basketball program coincided with the arrival of USHL hockey here in Green Bay which led to the building of the bigger more modern and more profitable rest center and then the gamblers came as well um, hockey became very very popular the USHL was here way back when when it was the Green Bay Bobcats, you know, between uh, Gamblers Hockey and, and Phoenix Basketball over the years, uh, a lot of sporting events. This was like the hub of Green Bay. The Brown County Arena, the Veterans Brown County Arena, was the hub of Green Bay sports activity for a lot of years. One of the biggest memory makers in the arena over the years was the boys basketball sectional finals, something hoops fans of today still long for. We hear that a lot from people that essentially, you know, this is where you stop to play in the barn before you had that chance to make it to Madison to go to the big house as well. The excitement was unmatched and uh, we believe you can't duplicate that in even a large gymnasium. Um, it just the arena, the atmosphere, as you mentioned, you had the colors, the different sections uh, on each side of the arena, and fans were excited again. It, it was the place to be. You just you couldn't match that, and we certainly missed that as well. You know, and it was almost, you didn't have to get to state to have a phenomenal memory. Just playing right here in the sectionals, that place would be jammed. You'd have to get here really early to get a seat. I still think that's one of the best venues I've ever seen in high school basketball were the sectionals at the Brown County Arena. Those were fantastic.
But as times change, it's simply time for something new in place of the arena, with demolition set for next spring or early summer. So it's still functional, it's still working, um, but it is time. Obviously, we believe that the best future use of this property is a much larger Brown County Expo Center, which can attract a lot of different types of events that can't come here now and can greatly expand the events that we have that simply need more space. For the Local 5 Veterans Day Special, I'm Burke Griffin. Thank you, Burke. Such great memories. Yeah. So fun to look at that. This past weekend, the Green Bay Gamblers played one final game at the arena as a send-off. And as we go to break, we continue our special Veterans Day show with voices from our veterans. Some of these people didn't make it back home. Well, we got to keep their memory alive as well as our own.